Game of Thrones, it is back, final season. What's gonna happen? Is Daenerys gonna blow a 2 to 1 dragon lead, or will the White Walkers be defeated? Either way, it's gonna be awesome. And to help with your viewing parties, why not have a Game of Thrones themed drink? I call this Wildfire. And I'll let the Pyromancer school you on what that is. The substance burns so hot, it melts wood, stone, even steel. And of course, flesh. The substance burns so hot, it melts flesh like tallow. Yeesh. Alright, well, it's clear that for this drink, we're gonna need a green liquid that will catch on fire. And my mind immediately went to green chartreuse, which is a delicious, naturally green liqueur that is about 55% ABV. This is gonna be our base for wildfire. And where there's fire, there needs to be a little bit of smoke. So we're gonna add a bit of this smoky mezcal as well and balance that out with some lime juice. Now this drink is also gonna use a cool trick that involves breaking up some ice and forming it into a half shell. So you're gonna need to grab a Lewis bag like this and a mallet, and then also a citrus squeezer like this, typically one that's big enough for oranges. Okay, so let's start by creating that ice shell here. We're gonna grab about three ice cubes, put them into this Lewis bag, and just smash away with the mallet. Once that's been finely crushed, we're gonna empty that bag of ice into the citrus juicer, and then squeeze it tight. All right, now there's probably easier ways to get this ice shell out, but I'm sort of taking the awkward bunt cake flip approach and flipping it over onto this cutting board, and eh, there you go. Just put this aside for now, and we're gonna start making our cocktail. Now this wouldn't be Game of Thrones without some theatrics, so we're actually gonna be dusting the cocktail with some of this flammable cocoa powder. And uh, oh, careful with that uh, fine mesh strainer. All right, enough jibber jabber, let's make some wildfire. We're gonna start by pouring one ounce or 30 mils of our green chartreuse into this Nick and Nora glass. And now let's light it up. All right, calm down, you pyro. We're just gonna torch this a little bit and you'll notice it catches on fire right away because it's pretty high proof. Then we're gonna hit that with some cocoa powder. Now chocolate and green chartreuse actually pair really well together. And how do I know that? Well, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. And while that's still burning, we're gonna add our smoky mezcal, just about a quarter ounce or about seven mils. Give that a little swirl to keep the flames going, and then we're gonna finish with another quarter ounce or about seven mils of our fresh lime juice. And now we're gonna finally put that half ice shell to work. Gently pick it up and slowly rest it on top of the glass. Not only will this extinguish the flame, but it's also going to cool the rim of the glass so you can, you know, actually drink it. Give that a little swirl to mix things up a bit, and instead of shaking or stirring to chill and dilute it, we're gonna drop the hammer. Now at first, that might seem like a lot of ice, but it's actually gonna be perfect because we're really gonna need that dilution for how high proof this is. Let's see if Tyrion would approve. Cheers. All right, this is fantastic. The chartreuse and the smokiness of the mezcal play off each other really well. You get that hint of chocolate and then the lime to balance it out. I love this. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you want to see another cool Game of Thrones themed drink, I'll put a link here to the Song of Ice and Fire. And as always, if you're looking for cocktail gear, I've created a recommended list on my Amazon page. Pretty much everything is on Amazon Prime and buying through there also supports the channel. Cheers.